Our oceans and seas hold many secrets, including a key regarding evolution and ancient settlements lost of the waves. The SS Central America A hurricane on September 11, 1857 sealed the fate of 425 people returning to the U.S. East Coast. They were carrying an estimated 21 tons of gold coins and nuggets from prospectors who struck it rich on the West Coast. Still, some passengers had something more personally valuable. Photographs in the form of daguerreotypes and ambrotypes. So, what happened to these priceless treasures? Were they lost forever? Thankfully, no, and it's all thanks to a group led by one Tommy Gregory Thompson. He used Bayesian search theory to find the ship. On September 11, 1988, an ROV was deployed. Substantial quantities of gold and artifacts were later recovered and brought to the surface by an additional ROV explicitly designed for this recovery. The recovery gold was valued at 100 to 150 million dollars. As for the photographs, they were actually retrieved decades later in 2014. The Las Maha Bella Purim Pagodas Following a tsunami, archaeologists say they discovered some stone remains near India's famous beachfront. Located in the temple, they believe the structures are the ruins of an ancient and once thriving port city in the vicinity of the famous 1,200-year-old Rakhun Temple. After the coastline receded in the area where the tsunami struck, three pieces of remains, including a granite lion, were found. According to archaeologists, the stone remains, which have intricate engravings similar to those found in the Mahali Bali Piram Temple, date back to the 7th century AD and are nearly 6 feet tall. The World Heritage Listed Temple contains some of the earliest known examples of Dravidian architecture, dating back to the 7th century AD. This discovery then makes the legend about the Seven Pagodas too good to be true. According to the myths, a large city that once stood on the site was so beautiful that the gods became envious and sent a flood that swallowed it up in a single day. Loki's Castle Deep beneath the Atlantic, scientists discovered the missing link between the simple cells that first populated Earth and the complex cellular life that emerged around 2 billion years ago. It's a group of microorganisms known as Loki, which came from the inhospitable frigid seabed. This seabed was located about 2.35 kilometers beneath the ocean surface, not far from a hydrothermal vent system known as Loki's Castle. According to the researchers, the discovery sheds light on how the eukaryotes evolved from small, simple microbes. Sorry guys, we're actually not talking about anything related to the Norse mythos. Sorry to get your hopes up there. The Loki are members of the Archaea, which have simple cells with no internal structure. However, the researchers discovered they share many genes with eukaryotes, many of which function in the cell membrane. In short, those genes gave the Loki a starter kit to support the development of cellular complexity. So, in a way, there's a bit of Loki in all of us. Ulaburan Shipwreck a 3,300-year-old shipwreck called the Ula Buran was found off the coast of the Grand Cape, close to Kaz in southwest Turkey. It's one of the oldest ships ever found and contains one of the most extensive and well-known collections of items from the Late Bronze Age discovered in the Mediterranean. The cargo, which the crew thought to be a royal order, weighed more than 20 tons. Over 18,000 magnificent artifacts, including priceless jewels, opulent raw materials, and even the golden seal of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti have been found in total. Mehmed Kakir, a local sponge diver, discovered the Ula Buran in 1982 on a steep rocky slope. Its excavation was a massive undertaking that took the Institute of Nautical Archaeology 11 consecutive campaigns of 3 to 4 months to complete, which amounted to 22,413 dives between 1984 and 1992. It was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it in the end. Zemchug Canyon the Zemjug Canyon, located in the middle of the Bering Sea, is the largest and deepest submarine canyon ever found. At 2.6 kilometers deep, it's deeper than the Grand Canyon, which is about 1.83 kilometers deep. Based on its volume of 5,800 kilometers cubed, Zemjug Canyon is the largest submarine canyon in the world. And because of that, an enormous variety of life forms live in its deep, cold, oxygen-rich waters. Submarine canyons have been discovered in many continental shelves, carving deep fissures that extend from the shelves near shore to its deep sea edge. There are several hypotheses regarding what caused these enormous fissures in the shelves, but the most popular one contends that sediment transport was responsible for these canyons. In brief, sediment is transported by underwater landslides which are triggered by storms or earthquakes. These sediments cut and form the canyons, but you gotta wonder how long it took to develop this canyon. Sea Circles Underwater sea circles? Are the aliens trying to invade our seas first? Eh, worry not. The mystery's been solved and you may be surprised to find out the truth. First though, a little backstory. 
Divers off the coast of Japan discovered a stunning, peculiar circular pattern on the sea floor in 1995. Soon after, other circles were found close by. The geometric formations mysteriously came and went, and for more than a decade, nobody knew what made them. Until recently, of course. A newly discovered species of pufferfish was identified as the originator of these amazing formations. Further research revealed that these tiny pufferfish create elaborate circles to entice mates. Males laboriously disrupt the sediment and create unique circular patterns as they swim along the seafloor. When these circles are finished, female pufferfish come and inspect them. If they like what they see, well, they reproduce with the pufferfish. Talk about a test. The Vasa Shipwreck Early in the 17th century, the Swedish Navy built the warship known as the Vasa. King Gustav II of Sweden ordered the building of this warship to bolster his nation's military power. Due to Sweden's involvement in the war with the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth at the time, achieving this goal was urgent. Ironically, despite being one of the most powerful ships of its era, the Vasa was sunk by a gust of wind rather than by enemy fire. Even more embarrassing for the Swedes was the fact that the Vasa sank in full view of Stockholm residents who came to watch the spectacle just moments after it departed the harbor of Stockholm on its inaugural voyage. So, what happened exactly? A gust of wind tipped the ship to the port, and water started coming in because the gun ports were open, and within minutes the ship had gone 32 meters below water. Ugh, bad design. The Galleon San Jose Early in December of 2015, the Colombian government revealed that they had discovered the San Jose, a Spanish galleon for the 18th century that's possibly the most valuable shipwreck ever discovered. The salvage company, Sea Search Armada, based in the U.S., immediately staked a claim, claiming to have located the ship and registered its location in 1982. Colombia has now offered to let the company check to see if the San Jose is where it claimed it was 33 years ago. Officials from Sea Search Armada believe that the offer is a ruse designed to give Colombian authorities a pretext to deny their long-standing demand for a share of the enormous wealth of the San Jose, which sank off the coast of Colombia three centuries ago. Honestly, who knows, though. The treasure found within the ship was intended for France, which was allied with Spain at the time of its sinking. Ancient Roman Pill The Relito del Pazino, a 2,000-year-old submerged shipping vessel that sank off the coast of Tuscany, contains some ancient Roman medicinal pills that were found there. A team of Italian scientists performed a chemical analysis on the drugs to determine precisely what the ancient Romans used as medicine. The dry bills were kept in the containers, or pick sides, which provided an incredible opportunity to determine what substances were contained within them. According to chemical analysis findings, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, the pills contain iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, and other substances derived from plants and several zinc compounds. Scientists have hypothesized that the tablets were once used as a type of eye medication based on their shape and composition. The effectiveness of the medicine in treating eye condition is unknown, but the discovery has offered a unique window into Roman-era medical procedures. And now it's time for the day's best pick. You found this underwater, I got no doubt you'd be panicked. Curious about what it is? Elongated skulls. Underwater archaeologists investigated a flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico, and what they found was literally bone-chilling. The sea note known as Sacuyam is unusual, and local lore claims that a feathered, horse-headed serpent guards the mysterious cavern. Older inhabitants of a nearby village recall hearing tales of individuals who witness a serpent perched in a tree, leaping up, spinning three times, and diving into the water. In fact, the villagers are terrified of what's inside and don't want to approach the site. Archaeologist Bradley Russell and his group spent two weeks diving into the sea note's submerged reaches to research it. Archaeologists found out early on that there might be a perfect reason why the locals are afraid of the location, which may be the source of the legends and stories about it. There are hundreds of bones there, though their reason for being there is still unknown. Undoubtedly a disturbing sight, though. Ancient Settlement in Lake Ezekiel A 2,500-year-old Saka settlement was found in a lake in Kyrgyzstan by Siberian archaeologists. The discovery of a piece of a large ceramic pot with a stamp in Armenian and Syrian scripts in the lake may also have provided evidence supporting the idea that an Armenian monastery once stood in this location. If it's accurate and the Orthodox Church is correct, the existence of the Armenian monastery would indicate that the isolated lake may also be the final resting place of the Apostle St. Matthew, one of Jesus' twelve disciples. According to Dmitry Gorn, director of Tom Scuba Diving Club and the one who oversaw the diving team, the group found pieces of ceramics, whetstones for sharpening knives, a piece of bronze ritual sickle, and many pieces of slag and traces of casting production. In fact, over 200 artifacts were recovered from the lake. Now see if they find a mummified St. Matthew. Pavla Petri 
The remnants of a submerged settlement thought to have existed as long ago as 5,000 years ago were rediscovered in the 1960s by Nick Fleming from the Institute of Oceanography at the University of Southampton. The site, which is 13 feet underwater and is close to the small village of Pavla Petri in southern Greece's Peloponnesus, is now thought to be the world's oldest known planned underwater settlement. The Pavla Petri Underwater Archaeology Project was born from this discovery, helping researchers understand the everyday life of the people who lived there before the ancient settlement sunk. A snapshot of 5,000 years ago shows that Pavla Petri was exceptionally well planned, with streets, two-story homes, with gardens, temples, cemeteries, and a sophisticated water management system with channels and water pipes. The majority of the buildings in the city center had up to 12 rooms inside, and there was even a square plaza of about 131 by 65 feet in size. See you all next time!